Hi everybody, Monique from Creative Wipe Life. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if this is the first time that you come across my channel, please understand, this is not my place, okay? I'm actually vacationing um, at my mother's house and this was my old bedroom growing up, but now my niece inhabits the space and it's not my style, but I'm here. I just wanted to talk about my anxiety, yeah. I know I'm not supposed to be anxious for anything, but I am. And the truth is, I'm anxious about starting homeschooling. Not because I don't think that I'm qualified. I know that God will give me the tools to teach my daughter in the right way. I feel qualified. I think we're all qualified as moms. But to be very, very honest, when I look at YouTube and when I look at a uh, Pinterest or even different blogs across the internet Everyone has their homeschool stuff together, and I feel like I don't actually I know I don't have all my homeschooling things together And it's giving me a little bit of anxiety. I'm the type of person that actually likes to have all their ducks in a row Everything together and organize all my paperwork done and paint printed out and ready to go and I don't have it. Not just because I'm on vacation, it's because I'm kind of waiting for other things to happen in order for me to finish up everything. Before I left my house, I made sure my homeschool room or my space was organized, cleaned, kind of like a clean slate ready to go. And as I've been here, I've ordered a few things, a few books off the internet, and I picked up things here and there. So supplies are kind of getting there in terms of what I want, the curriculum and stuff but I don't have everything together. What started it was my laptop died. <sighs> and with that dying, um, I have to get another one um, at some point. And then my printer, I'm missing the cords to it. So the things that I really want to start printing off and getting ready, I can't just yet. And we're starting homeschooling in less than a month. God knows this. He knows the frustration and the anxiety that I'm starting to feel. And I, it's a learning process for me and it's a trusting exercise to trust God that, you know, he's given me the desire to homeschool my daughter and he'll give me the tools that I need to do that. So that's where I'm at. When I look at other blogs, vlogs, um, Pinterest even, there are so many people that are just on point they had everything ready some people even have already started to homeschool they have mad supplies crazy amounts of curriculum and I'm sitting here like mm, I don't have that stuff and it does make me feel a little bit of an, an inadequacy it makes me feel like oh, what am I doing I don't have everything <sighs> so that's kind of where I'm at Totally not pulling back. I'm still going forth in less than a month. In fact, our first our day to start is September 6th, Tuesday, September 6th, the day after our Labor Day. Um, ready to start. I'm going to do three days that week because we're doing a four-day curriculum, a four-day week, sorry, so Monday through Thursday. So we're only going to do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday that week. thought that was a great start to kind of ease us into the process. I've got a, a, a slight change to the schedule that I posted prior to this that I'm going to, to do that I think is going to help. I've got ideas for art, um, science. I ordered uh, a math book, a language arts book and a uh, reading book, um, Teaching Your Child to Reach in 100 EG Steps. Sorry, ah, let's get that out. So I've got things coming. I've also got some things waiting in my Amazon cart ready to be purchased, hopefully on Friday. I can purchase that and go ahead and send that to my house. <sighs> it's a slow but steady process. I kind of wish that I had all this stuff already figured out at the beginning of July with, like, of other, like other homeschooling moms have, but I don't. I don't. I have to wait for re financial resources. I have to get my laptop back together. I have to get my printer up and running. Ah, pray for me. How are you guys doing? Want to know first time homeschooling moms or veteran homeschooling moms how y'all are doing? Please hit me up below. Let's encourage each other. Okay, bye.